So in this demonstration, we're going to see how to use this REST service, which is published from an ADF application, okay, um, in Visual Builder. So we have multiple REST services. I'm going to copy one of the URLs to one of those services. This is the one that returns department, okay? And then I'm going to create a new application in Visual Builder. Now again, Visual Builder allows you to create all sorts of JavaScript-based UIs on top of REST services. So we're going to start by creating a new connection to REST service and choose the service form specification. And over here, we have the drop-down that allows us to specify the describe URL for our service. So again, that's basically adding a describe at the end and then just giving your service a name. When you click next, we're going to parse the structure of the describe and from it, we can then find out which endpoints are available for you, which is what you're going to see over here. Okay, so as you can see, we actually have also a relationship displayed here between department and employees and we have multiple endpoints. I'm going to just select all of them and add them to my services. Now I can create a web application or a mobile application, which is what I'm going to create. In both cases, you're actually going to create the UI using Oracle Jet. Um, over here, we just specify a structure for, um, let's say, our top menu of the mobile application. We can choose a layout for a page if we want to, or skip that step and just go directly into our visual editor. On the left side, you can see the list of the Jet components that you can drag and drop to position on the page. In the visual editor, you can click on items and change their properties. For example, the title of this page, like that. Then let's drop over a list component on the page. And then um, in this list, if you actually choose it, you'll be able to use our quick start to connect it to data. And in the list of sources of data, you would now see the rest endpoints for returning the a department and the employees for a department. Then we choose a default template for our page. We can choose which fields we want to show in this page, where to put them on the page. And clicking next and finish at this point of time would basically create our page for us. And in our live preview, we would actually go over, fetch the data and show it to you in this page. Next, we're going to create an edit page. Again, another quick start here allows us to pick up which object we want to update, which object would have the uh, save option as well. Those are basically two REST endpoints um, for the same REST service. Okay. And again, which fields we want to show on the edit page. Um, and then we can hook up our uh, list to have a select operation. And when we do the select operation, we're going to define our business logic using, again, a visual way of doing this. This is the action flows. So we're taking an action to navigate to a page. We're going to choose the new page we just created. This page accepts um, a parameter, which is the specific row that we are looking to edit. And this is something that we get from the selection in the list. So we just did parameter mapping between two pages. And now if we run our little application, it would pop up inside an emulator and we'll be able to see the data coming over from our well, REST service. Again, the REST service is based on some ADF business components. And when we select a record, we can see the information for this specific record and we can even update this information in our user interface over here. And save the data back into the system. So the next thing I'm going to show you is um, some additional things that you can do in the user interface. For example, we worked right now uh, with the live preview, but you can also see the live mode of the application in the design view. And then in the design view, I was able to navigate to the next page. And over on this page, I'm going to again take another list and add this list over here. So we mentioned we have the department information. We also have the relationship between department and employees represented here. So in ADFBC, this is view accessor, which is exposed over here. And again, we can just choose to use that rest endpoint, which returns details about an employee. We can see the different fields over here. 
that work in a specific department. So again, we select the fields that we want to show on our page, arrange them inside the template that we have for a list, like that. And then we need to specify which department uh, do we want to show the employees for. And again, this is something that we already have on this page because of the quick start we used before. So we just map it like this. This is a parameter we're passing to this REST call. And as you can see, we're seeing here the employees in department 10. And if we switch over to another department, we're going to see the employees in this department, like that. So this is how easy it is to build the application. Now, the nice thing to understand is that this application is actually fully a JET-based UI. If you switch the code editor over here, you'll actually be able to see, access, and modify the Oracle JET code. And you can see, for example, we're using two JET buttons here. And it's very easy to just go over here, for example, and change the title of one of those buttons. Uh, so instead of save, let's make it uh, commit, okay? Which again would be represented in our visual editor, of course. And if you click on this, you'll be able to change it to the property inspector as well. You can also add various JET components. For example, um, we can add a slider component to our application. Let's put it over here. And we can hook this slider component to a piece of data that we have. So first of all, let's define the range for the slider. So this is going to be, uh, let's say, um, this range. And then in the data over here, we're using our quick selector to select that we want to show the manager ID, for example, in this slider. Okay. Again, if we move into live mode, you'll notice that when I move the slider, the value over here updates directly. Okay. So this is bidirectional binding between those two. And that's basically how you develop a VBCS application on top of ADF business component REST services.